women's team is garnering lots of attention among the men who dominate the race. And all for the right reasons. Rare Roses, Philippa Jung, Leona Chin and Kuti Ayu have proved they can be strong contenders by posting the second fastest lap time. Lisa Wong has more. These two girls were picked from 600 contestants in the Red Bull Female Driver Search competition after showing they weren't just pretty faces, but ladies who can handle some serious horsepower on track. It is my first year. I've never raced with 77 cars on the road, uh, on the track, so it's a bit nervous. How was the qualifying experience for this rookie? Quite amazing. Uh, I was quite shocked to get uh, such a good time and we are in the front, front rows and I'm very happy. And what about teammate Putri? What is after today's tedious qualifying? Uh, I'm just going to go back and get enough rest and be here tomorrow and finish the race tomorrow. I feel very proud and I believe I am actually representing the female <laughs> um, drivers out there and um, my aim is just to prove to everyone out there that females do can drive on track as well. It's pandemonium out here, it's just after qualifying and teams are making final adjustments to the car to get them race ready for the race tomorrow. Now you're going to be here to catch all the action, 11.45am right up to midnight on Saturday. This is Lisa Wong at the SIC for Sports Centre. The classic car race, which is one of the support races at the Redeca Millennium Race, is slowly gaining a strong reputation among followers. Sports Centre found one of Malaysia's race icons, Karamjit Singh, pulling up in a 1.9 Peugeot 305 GTX, finishing second in his class. Now, first of all, many would wonder why did the rally champion decide to race in the classic car race. Well, actually, the owner is a friend of mine, so he asked me whether I would be interested. I know to help him out. I said, sure, why not? Yeah, you know, see how the boys prepare the car, teach them something as well. Still, with little preparation time, he managed a second place finish with this car put together by students of the Automotive College. What about his participation in the MME? No, not this year, not this year. We hope for next year for sure. Yeah. Uh, any reasons why? Uh, as usual, always money problems. Yeah. The honours in the classic car class B went to Englishman Ian Ross Geeky. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a, a bit lonely after a while. I lost lost touch with the, the Class O guys after a couple of laps. So it was uh, basically playing chase after the, the front guys and keeping in front of my rivals in back. So it was, it was good. So track was good. The weather was good. You know what, Russian? Mm, that race looks like it's going to be an absolute cracker. And if you guys have any spare time at all, get down to Spung and watch it. Time for us to move on out of here. But don't forget, if you missed any of the big news this week, tune into Weekend Review over the weekend to catch it all again. And if that is enough, then check out the website for 24 hours sport to have www.espnstar.com. All the views and all the news just for you. Have a good weekend and have a good night.